up everyone? I'm your female otaku, and I'm here to show you 10 of the best anime to air in 2016. This is the sequel and leftovers version. If you want to see the best new anime, then check out my top 10 anime of 2016 video. Just to reiterate, if you still don't understand, this video will contain new anime, sequels, and leftovers from the 2015 season. With all that said, let's get started. Number 10, Danganronpa 3. I never expected to be so into the Danganronpa franchise. Watching this anime was an adventure. Danganronpa was a silly but interesting game. However, the finale anime series decided to go deeper into its story. A great way to conclude the series. If you're interested in getting into the Danganronpa franchise, because I know it can be pretty complex, then please watch my Ultimate Guide video. Number 9, Mob Psycho 100. One of the best shonen anime to air this year, and probably one of my personal favorite shonens. Shonen anime are a dime a dozen, so Mob Psycho 100 decides to take things in a different direction. Our main character Mob is so much more than a seemingly generic school kid protagonist. The secondary characters also develop, and the show is just overall fun to watch. I really hope a second season will be announced, because this was a great adaptation. Number 8, Haikyuu. This includes both the second half of season 2 and the third season. Many people say that this is one of the greatest sports anime of all time, and I'm one of them. The characters are people, and you feel for them. You want them to win so badly. Your mind and your heart are so into the matches that you can't focus on anything else. Animation is always on point, as well as the soundtrack. Even haters of the sports genre enjoy Haikyuu. Number 7, March Comes In Like a Lion. What can I say that I haven't said already about this anime? You've heard me say that I love the symbolism, mature themes, and realism. Yeah, it may not be for everyone since there isn't an overpowered main protagonist who wins at everything with the power of friendship, but I implore you to watch this modern masterpiece. Can you hear my heartbeat, tired of feeling? Number 6, Yuri on Ice. I hate Yaoi, and I hate Shonen Ai. Same thing goes for the Yuri side of things. Yaoi is nothing but a sexual relationship, and Shonen Ai makes you think that it's about a serious relationship, but ends up being something along the lines of two kiss scenes and a terrible plot. How is it that Yuri on Ice, which is only labeled as a sports anime, have such an amazing couple with a stronger bond than most romance anime? This is the beauty of Yuri on Ice. If you're a fan of great writing and relationship building, then you need to watch this anime. Yes, we were born to make history. Born to make history. Number 5, Bungo Stray Dogs. Originally, BSD wasn't going to be in the top 5. But when I thought about the masterful arc that is the Dazai in the Dark Era arc, I knew I needed to give this anime more credit. If you have yet to watch Stray Dogs, then let me tell you this. Treat it like Noragami. It has an okay but entertaining first half, but the second core really shows you what it can really do, and you'll never forget about it. Number 4, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4 Diamond is Unbreakable. Ever wanted to catch up to a long-running anime that everyone talks about? Then start with JoJo. Don't worry, it won't take too long to catch up because there are only about 115 episodes. Dive into the shonen that started it all, but with some out-of-this-world situations. It's not called a bizarre adventure for no reason. <laughs> Number 3, Dorara Ketsu. Seinen of the year for me. 
things kept getting darker and darker. The character development was on a whole nother level, and I love how Durarara ties everyone's lives together in the end. The only reason why Durarara is number 3 and not number 1 is because of the pacing of the finale episode. It should have been an hour long because a couple of the situations were glossed over or rushed. Number 2, Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju. An anime like this comes once in a blue moon. An anime that is the exact definition of a piece of art. Showa's first season is about the backstory of the sensei. We see the beautiful but dying art form that is Rakugo. Watch it for the drama, the soundtrack, the voice acting, or the Rakugo performances themselves. Season 2 airs in winter 2017, so you don't want to miss it. <laughs> Number 1, ReZero. I can see the haters trolling in the comments now. Say what you will because I cannot find a single thing wrong with this anime. I have heard the opposing side's argument, but I still cannot see it the way they do. And that's alright. In my eyes, ReZero is perfect and will stick with me forever, making its way into the top 10 of my all-time favorite anime. ReZero will stand the test of time as being one of the greatest and most unique psychological anime. Kind of makes you wonder, what's going to be the anime that everyone will talk about in 2017? Oh. Right. <laughs>